Hello, good morning and welcome to today's video. My name's Emma. If you're new here, hello! Stick around for hauls and vlogs and chats. You may have come over from the wonderful Emily Norris's channel because I am doing a collab with her today. And I just want to say in the new year I'm going to be doing Poundland organisation. We'll be doing home bargain hauls. I'll finally show you my finished bedroom and how we set up our pack system because it has taken us months. I'm a little less organised than Emily. I highly suggest you go over and subscribe to Emily if you want organisation. Mum hacks. She's absolutely amazing and like cleaning, anything like that. She is top notch. She's perfect. She lives with her husband and her three boys and also she got a puppy at the same time I got a puppy. Emily and I live parallel lives. Last year we moved house in the same week. This year we got a puppy in the same week. So go and check her video out. She's going to be doing like a 24 hours in the life of her Cavapoop Kiki um, who is absolutely beautiful. A couple of weeks older than my Margot and if you've come over from Emily's channel I'm going to be doing kind of how we survive a day with a puppy and also some top tips along the way. So Margot She's not with me now because she's downstairs asleep, which is good because it means I can film in peace and quiet. I started my day off this morning, I put the camera on straight away and I'll insert some clips when I'm talking about kind of like a morning with a puppy. So our little Margot is a Zushon or a Shishon. She's sometimes called a teddy bear dog. She is a cross between a Shih Tzu and a Bichon Freeze crossed. My lovely friend Hedaya's dog had puppies and we were looking for a dog because our beautiful, beautiful Lucy passed away a few months ago. And I was actually going to wait till next year, but my heart could not cope. Like the house without a dog just felt so empty. And Hedaya was like, got this puppy and I was like oh my gosh I went to see her and when I tell you I immediately fell in love I'll insert like a picture I immediately fell in love with this puppy she is beautiful so we've had her now about six or seven weeks I think coming up to two months she's gorgeous um we start our day off around six or seven she doesn't wake us up she is in a crate which was recommended by the vet and I have to say she absolutely loves it and I'll talk a bit more about that later and we'll do like a crib style crate tour so you can see but we start our morning at about six o'clock in the morning um let her out to the toilet she doesn't have any accidents in her crate at night and she's had no accidents since we've had her in a crate at night. Accidents in the house during the day, completely different matter. That's a completely different story. So we let her out for a wee. Um, I actually measure out her puppy food every morning to last her the whole of the day. And I give her her breakfast as soon as she comes in. And then we have a very intense, hour with this puppy a very intense hour she is bananas I suppose she's getting all of her energy out we do do puppy classes with Margot on a Tuesday evening I take her for a puppy class so we are training her at the moment um I think Emily does more like one-on-one -on -one training I train her with other puppies and it is oh my gosh the serotonin hit when I, I wish I could film it because when I walked into that class there was an Alsatian puppy. There was a Chihuahua puppy. It was just like being in actual heaven and they were all bonkers. Oh my gosh, it was just wonderful. So we are working on different things. Um, we are working on nipping because she is, nips your feet. She doesn't nip my feet because she knows, but she'll like nip the kids' feet. Um, so that is a little bit annoying. So after she's had breakfast, we take her out to do a little morning poo nice she likes a routine with a poo and then she comes back in and we play with her and that's pretty much what happens until we go on the school run i nip out on the school run i don't tend to take her in the morning and um, she's not a huge fan of being in the car any suggestions below any tips about car you know getting them settled in cars she's got like a dog car seat the whole boot is all decked out with like blankets and everything so any tips i would love to know 
any tips for car um, and then she comes back and she has a little nap which is what she's currently doing now and this is the point of the day where I do some work or I cut I looked then and I thought it was I thought she'd come upstairs this is my teddy <laughs> she's downstairs she can't yet get up up the stairs and she can't yet get on the couch so we're safe at the moment so I am going to tidy up and then I'll come back to you when she's wide awake and we will have some fun with our beautiful Margot who um, has changed changed our lives. Just, she's just beautiful. Where's my Margie? Here she is. Are you gonna come and say hello to your friends? Yeah, you were doing your bum, wiggle bum, wiggle bum. <laughs> Here we go. Here is our beautiful Margie fresh from her nap. She does that, I just love it. I feel like I've got just like a little baby. So this is Margot. She um has just had a little nap. Oh my gosh, this is like my favourite. I could just hit she stand here all day. It makes me feel weird. Like I could have a little cry. Margie, you're just so lovely. Um so this is a beautiful Margie and um Right, calm down Emma, this is, this is just too fluffy, she's just too fluffy. I would show you her bum but you don't want to close up with a dog's bum. So she has a nap in the morning because she has a very kind of energetic hour and then she has a nap in the morning and then we take her for a little walk, don't we? Go for a little walk. We go for a little walk um, and then she has a lunch so I will take you on a little walk with us. We're actually training her at the moment to walk by our feet. Our beautiful Lucy. Beautiful Lucy was, was an, an, an untrained creature. She was not a trained dog at all. She just, she hated other dogs. And she just not, not, she loved humans, but other dogs not for her walking. She was all over the shop. Um, so Margot, I want her to be able to walk next to me. I know Emily's beautiful dog um, can go off the lead. So I'd love to do that as well. I'm telling you this dog, I'm telling you now, she's just delightful. So we will do a little walk in a bit. Um, I also want her to get to know other dogs, which is why I chose a dog class with other dogs in. Somebody asked over on my Instagram, do go and follow me over there if you want regular Margot fun. Somebody asked on my Instagram what you do when your dog is unvaccinated to meet other dogs. She's double vaccinated now. You, if your dog isn't vaccinated, it can go in the house of a dog that is vaccinated, we asked the vet. So my mother-in-law has got a dog, so. And I might have a funny clip of the meeting, which I'll insert here. Margot, look at the look at your friends. They're waiting to see you and you're being all tired. She's so snuggly. I love you so much. Right, should we show them all your toys? Yeah, yeah. So this here is our little Margot's crate. I know that some people like to have dogs on the bed. And we did have, um, Lucy was on the bed, but actually you're trying to get the ball which is in the crate. So this is her little crate, it has a bed in it. And then like a, another bed underneath that's like a mattress. Then she's got her blanket that we picked her up in and a couple of little snuggly toys that she likes to snuggle up to. We thought because she'd come from like a litter, that'd be quite nice, they could act like other little puppies and I like to tidy every morning. We put a blanket over the top to keep her a bit warm and this is downstairs. And at night, she literally just puts herself to bed. She just goes in and goes to bed. It's very, very cute and you don't hear a peep out of her. It took a couple of nights to get there though. So for the first couple of nights, my lovely husband, Stephen, actually slept downstairs on the couch so he could be close to her. And then after two nights, she was fine. She was um, fine. On the day, in the day she tends to sleep on the rug, which is really funny because that actually, I'm worried that she's going to do away. <laughs> this actually is where Lucy used to sleep as well towards the end, she'd sleep on the rug. Um, I do think that in the new year this rug is going to need to be professionally cleaned because <laughs> it's, oh Margot, no, 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 let's go for a wee wee. I think we were going to catch in her doing a big wee. <laughs> So let's put her outside. Go and do a wee wee. So when she goes for a wee, I just say go wee wee. And sometimes she goes for a wee wee. Sometimes she just stares at me. Sometimes she tries to run up those stairs. Margot, come on, go wee wee. Go wee wee. 
Good girl. Oh, do you want to see a win? Well, probably not. There you go. Let's give her privacy. <laughs> Good girl, Margot. And they say, treat time. Treat time. Come on. Come and get a treat. Come on. Come and get a treat then, Munchkin. Come on. Good girl. Let's go and get a treat then. So, let's see if she will do her trick that we've been teaching her. In the class, I have a little pot of treats up here. She's already sitting down because she knows. Let's see. Um, I'm going to split this big one in half. Come over here then. Right, oops. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Right, sit. <gasps> Good girl. And then sit. Stay there. I've split it in half. It's a big one. <gasps> Good girl. So if she does something good, we give her a little treat. There you go. You want that one? I'll oh, put that on the floor for you there. So there we go. The class is really good. They want her to be able to, as I say, walk by my feet. Stand, sit, lie down. Have not achieved any of those yet. Um, and also recall. So if you call her name, she comes running to you, which is really good. Because obviously, say if, the kids were walking her in the park and you're walking next to them and they dropped it and she ran off and then you could shout and then she comes back so yeah I thought I would also show you let's put you here and um show you some of her little Christmas jumpers that she likes to wear or do I like it to wear unsure oh, it's just so exciting doing all this I just love it it's just literally like having a baby again I love it so um, she does wear a jumper if she goes out on a walk because we did notice she was shivering a little bit. She's just staring at me now because this is where the treats come. So this is a new purchase yesterday and I thought this would be good for the new year. It's just a Mickey hoodie <gasps> with a little collar bit. That was um, from Primark. They have loads of different little dogs bits but I thought that was really cute because we absolutely love Disney. She has got this little pom-pom. I'm not sure where this is from. Is it from... I don't know, it says Zoon. So I don't know if this is maybe pets at home or something. Oh no, this is from the garden centre. So pom pom, I will say, puppies like chewing on pom poms, so that is a bit of an issue. Um, this for Christmas Day, your classic Christmas tree. I don't know where this is from. Every time I see one, I'm like, <gasps> so a little Christmas tree, which is really, really cute. And she's got another one. Oh, this one is very special. This will have been like home bargains. This is actually Lucy's old little jumper, which we washed. And it's really nice to see her in this at Christmas. Um, Margot, she's trying to get into the cupboard. What are you doing? <laughs> the suspicion. We did have her on one of these leads, which might work really well for you, but the um, man at the puppy training. Margot, what you doing? She's like, leave me alone man, I'm having a sniff. The uh, puppy training man, we have this, which is like a retractable one, and he said no. So we've now got a, just a normal lead. I've always had retractable leads, but I think normally she's now looking at me like, we going for what what are you talking about so we have a normal lead and i also bought one there's like a she's fully getting in the cupboard emily let me know is your puppy always trying to get in things all the time i got one for at night time or early morning if i'd like to walk her around so yeah that's the kind of leads we have obviously we've got like um poo bags and i got the ones that are like um not recyclable you don't want a recyclable what they're called let me know in the comments. De Decomposing. Do biodegradable. Biodegradable poo bags. So that's it. What are you doing? What are you doing, Naughty? I thought I would talk a bit about the kind of easy, not easy, the kind of the good bits and the naughty bits. Naughty. Naughty bits of um, having a puppy. Having a puppy obviously is loads of fun and snuggles and cuddles and just lovely, but also it is, it is quite hard work. I have had two children and it is like having a toddler. You have to, the Christmas tree, the times she tried to climb up the Christmas tree, um, she pulled, we've got a little Christmas tree here, pulled that down, that went down, didn't it? She also um, 
there's a big plant in the living room. She's eat, she's eating that. So you have to keep your eyes on shoes. She likes to take a shoe, a pair of socks. She's like, if that's it's a dirty pair of pants on the floor, this that's like Christmas to her. So it you have to have your eyes in the back of your head at all times, don't be Margot. Yeah? Yeah? But then there's snuggles like this, and you're like, she is not the kind of puppy that will sleep on you she makes me a bit sad because i was like oh i could lie at night and she could just be like asleep no she doesn't she doesn't do that at all really she's not not interested in having a nap on you should i put you down gorgeous um yeah she's not i had visions of me just like but no she doesn't do that she likes to sleep on the floor or she'll sleep on the couch next to you uh but she, I'm hoping when she can jump on the couch herself, maybe I might get a little she might sleep on me. I don't know. The house has been a little bit of a mess since she's got here because there are different things that she really likes to play with. This is her toy box. It's from, I'm scared. She's going to do another way. Um, it's from, there's some little plastic over there. She's playing with hearing noise. It's from a secondhand shop, um, a charity shop. She, see, she's just running off. Look, she's like, I don't want all your, to I don't want all your toys. I just want to play with this really loud bit of plastic. You see, so I'll wrap her off something. So toy wise, um, she, re I really think good ones for puppies are like long toys. This actually was Lucy's, which we washed, and I can't believe it's not destroyed. So she loves long toys. This Father Christmas is another good one. Um, any ones where she can like see, she can get her head in your sink, it's about Margie. Anything like that, she can have a little bit of tug of war with. She laughs. Ones that she's not so bothered with that I won't get again is she doesn't really know what to do with them. Go on, what are you gonna do with that? Hmm. She doesn't play too much of those. She loves the long toys. Anything with like a bit of rope. <laughs> She's like, this is just the dream. She's playing with me so much. So I tend to, in the morning we play with her with this. And then also at lunchtime we play with her. And um, with the toys. And then at night. And then she does sleep quite a lot of the time. We don't leave her for long periods of time. But if we do. Oh, it's, it's in the wash. If we do, we've got a couple of things that keep her. Right, this has just been washed this little thing here it's like a lick mat so you can fill it with like peanut butter or something and then you just pop it on the floor and she will lick it and they love like licking that she absolutely adores that so that's really really good i'll leave a link below actually bless you bless you unsure if you are sneezing or looking for attention what what what's our thoughts Sneezing or attention? What do we think? Sneeze or attention? <laughs> She's so cute. Another thing that we bought, is it in here? I wonder if that's what she was like looking for. Another thing that I got um, is this. Let me show you what it does. You're like, what pray tell is that, Emma? That strange looking thing. This is a snuffle mat. And you put like little bits of food in or little treats and you put, put it on the floor and they can kind of snuffle around with it. So I will actually show you. I'll break up a bit of a, a bit of a snack because these are massive. I also have like um, this, like a yak, yak milk or something that she um, likes to chew on. Let me just say, <gasps> Margot, Margot, what's this? in there and then they just have to snuffle and try and find it and just kind of like snuffle around a bit so if, say if I'm that when I do the scoreboard or if I'm just popping out to the shops I leave kind of stuff like this on I also leave talk sport on I leave talk sport on because it feels like this do I sound bonkers let me know if I sound bonkers in the comments because I'm thinking of all these things. I just love dogs and I just want her to be happy, as the happiest dog she can be. And I saw like a TikTok or something that was like, um, in your life as an, a human, you will have loads of different people come in and out. But like dogs, you're their family forever. And I just feel like I need to make her life as nice as possible. 
So she has the radio on, she has a snuffle mat, she might have a lick mat, and she has stuff to keep her occupied. And obviously as she gets older, she won't need quite as much, but... She's very, very, very happy. I like her a lot. I love her. W worried this is the video of a crazy person just talking about dogs. You ready to go for a walk? That is my stupid dog voice. Let me know if you have a stupid dog voice. Would you like to go for walkies? Walkies, Margo! <gasps> you muggies, yee. She's got a little jumper on. We're gonna go for a walk, get some stamps, post some uh, Christmas cards, what do you think? She's like, just get me out of here. Love you. Human. <laughs> you can all proud. Come on, sniffle bum. Come on, sniffy bum. <laughs> <laughs> so we've come back from our walk she did a poo and a wee <laughs> we were like yeah poo and wee I've had some lunch so she will have a little play and then uh, I'll do the school run she'll have a little play with the kids and I think what I'll do is I will come back when she's going a bit bonkers later so you can see the true zoomies of a puppy what are you doing Margie? What are you doing, puppy? You cutie. Hey, hey. Um. So usually we have like really bonkers kind of um hour before bed, but this little babe, we took her for two short walks today. We did like maybe like a 15 minute one and then maybe like two 15 minute walks and it seems to have calmed her right down. So if you have, hey, say look at the people. <laughs> Most of this video is just me going, look at the people. So if you have a puppy and you're like, oh my gosh, they're so energetic, once you can start walking them when they've been double vaxxed, it gets a lot, lot easier. Right, I need to go and lie down. Why, why I say, say bye bye and then I say bye bye. <laughs> so there you go my friends that was just like a little kind of glimpse into life with a puppy it's brilliant it's beautiful it's exhausting it's like having a toddler um if you are thinking about getting a puppy that's some of the things you might want to think about that you do have to keep an eye on them a lot and um, we don't really leave her alone that often or for very long and we're really lucky that if we need to go away for the night which Quite frankly, we go nowhere at the moment. Um, she can take the crate and go and stay at my mother-in-law's, which is around the corner, with her auntie Ruby, who is a dog as well. They can hang out together. So, thanks so much if you've come over from Emily's channel. Hello, welcome, subscribe, stick around. And any of you lovely old time followers, make sure you go over and subscribe to Emily. And I will be back in another few days with a very festive Christmassy Primark haul. I love you lots. See you soon, guys. Bye. No one else makes me feel this way. Don't know what you do. You hold